your worth is immeasurable and eternal. Money cannot add to your worth and it can't take away from it. And neither can the lack of money. What are the, the, the beliefs that end up tripping people up around money? Thanks. So one is money is not your security or your freedom. You actually are. Money can actually serve you best when it serves those ends, but it's not an end in of itself. Because mm -hmm. think about it. How many people do you know who work hard, but aren't free? Yeah. Or people who don't work that hard, but tend to be able to do whatever they like. And we all know people who have a lot of money, but don't take the time to enjoy themselves because they're worried about losing it and they can't stop working. They never take vacations. So there's no freedom there, right? Mm -hmm. Second one is um, money's not what keeps you stuck. And it's also not what lets you move. Because if you think about it, how many lottery, lottery, sorry, lotto, lottery winners have we heard about who make a bunch of money and then they completely blow up their lives or go bankrupt? Or even young celebrities who skyrocket to fame and then very shortly, you know, they're, they're, they're in rehab, they're doing all these um, destructive things to their lives. It's mm -hmm. not the money, it's their beliefs around the money that keeps them stuck and how much they feel uh, they deserve. Mm -hmm, absolutely. They call it the curse of the lottery, right? You know, yes, it's that true. most people, 90 some percent of people that win the lottery within three to five years, they're back to the so same social economic standpoint that they were prior to winning. So, you know, it's because if they don't change what's going on underneath, it doesn't matter, you know, because a lot of times people say that it's all about circumstances. And I'm glad that you touched on that. You know, because so many people say, if only my circumstances were different, if only if I got paid more at my job, if only I won the lottery, if only I had this other things. But the bottom line is the proof is in the pudding and the reality is time and time again, follow that. And if people don't change what's going on internally and change that critter mind, like you like to call it, um, they'll find themselves, it, 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 it'll just be chasing another rabbit on the stick and that won't equal that fulfillment or keeping or manifesting or holding or attaining. Absolutely right. You're right. And then I, um, in my work, run across people who have amazing amounts of money that they cannot um, spend in their lifetime, but they still have a scarcity mindset. They mm -hmm. don't know when is enough because it has to do with how they feel about themselves, their relationship to themselves. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Press that little button, the red one, you know, the one, just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. Your worth is immeasurable and eternal. Money okay. cannot add to your worth and it can't take away from it. And neither can the lack of money. You know, if anybody out there is listening has ever had kids, have been a kid or seen one on TV, how many babies do you know? <laughs> Thank you. Have I you ever seen a kid? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Have you ever seen a kid? Um, how many babies do you know who are born worthless? I mean, they have no job. They have no money. Does that make them worthless? No, no it doesn't. But we're the only species that measures our worth and find it lacking. Like you don't have a tree out there reaching for sunshine and saying, oh, I shouldn't take any more sunshine. I'm blocking the irises or I'm blocking the, you know, the grass. No, it's like, I'm going to take, I'm here. And if you stand and enjoy as much sunshine as you want, does it take, does it make the world darker for other people? It doesn't, but we measure our worth and we measure it on a, um, a system of money that is a collective uh, uh, hallucination. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to one of my next questions are how these limiting beliefs even get created. Mm. Yeah, it has, to, uh, it has a lot to do with uh, how our brains develop and being young. I mean, you always hear about the childhood, right? And it's true because our beliefs about ourselves are in place by the time we're three, if not for sure, by six years of age. Mm -hmm. And those, a three-year-old who's deciding their worth, um, and it gets put down for the next four or five, six decades, you're living from that place unless you can interrupt it. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time. Have a beautiful, blessed day.